What's up, everybody, and welcome to The, the Little, Little Big, Big Cast, Cast, where four players are searching for that elusive game life balance. On today's show, Jeff stabbed some eyeballs. It bled out of his Yuck. eye. It was disgusting. Oh uh, Rachel gets competitive in her relationships. As, as always. Yeah, it happens. Robin goes where a kid can be a kid. Tokens Toys everywhere. Yeah. And Drew gets sexy between the spreadsheets. Ah. Let me show you some. All this, <laughs> all this and more in episode 92 of the Little Big Cast. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. So this is episode what? 90, 92. 93? Yep. 92? No. 92. 92. 92. 92. Very cool. Well, my name is Jeff Hawks. Right? Thanks for joining us yeah. today for the show. Uh, with me, as always, to my left, Miss Rachel Hernandez. Yeah, I'm Rachel Hernandez. All the way over on the right, Dr. Robin Hazlett. High five. Hold on, doctor. And our own uh, teacher extraordinaire. Well, we've hot got pepper. two of them. Yeah, we do. Hot our, pepper. Our own hot, hot pepper. pepper teacher. Yeah, thanks. Mr. Drew Tyler. It's good to be here. We kind of have a new set, it which is, is cool, right? Like we, well, Not new set, but we, we moved about 10 feet to the to the north we're trying something out yeah to the north Do we're trying something question. out and it may or may not work question no. my question is this whole like we moved to the north thing like, i don't have a compass you don't know which way is north building we, i no, still know which way is north i still know which way north is building are you a freaking bird so do you have a compass inside of your head you walk down the hallway and go up the escalator and go out that door to go in that door you're walking north correct can we just go like into the door no coming in this way you'd be walking west what Go works out. for me the sun is, is over there. walk in, in the door. It's on your right hand side. Okay, okay. If you're talking That's about the how I function. Right? Yeah, that is, you go north to go yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're going north to go in. He's right. Wait, what did you, how do you function? Walk in the door, look to your right. That's, that's how that's you function. It. That's how you do it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like okay. that's a, a very Utah thing to be like, then go north for X amount of miles, then go yeah. south for X amount of miles. Because we know where... Because it's like there's a mountain to the east. Right, you can't get confused. It's like super easy because there's a mountain to the east. But if you're from outside of Utah, it could probably be, I mean, it... Well, mountains, like, mountains, is it, are the mountains in the west? Right. Yeah, here's, a, here's a, a, a Twitter ever, versus a, in a Facebook poll. Ocean. Do you use, use directions as in compass directions or do you use like stage Landmarks, left, stage, stage left, light, stage right? <laughs> we would like to know. Please let us know. Yes, I cast. want to know that I'm not the only one that's <laughs> the other weird. Thing, well, the other thing that confuses people that are from outside of Utah that I think being from Utah makes perfect sense is like the grid system that our right, it's normal, are normal for us right it's like oh go to, to graph go paper to, no, that's, you know 4200 south go to 5200 south what throws like people off is when you have two numbers right go to 4250 east, east 900 south north. right then yeah. those two numbers they go wait a minute for someone with numerical dyslexia <laughs> that <laughs> sucks just throwing that one <laughs> okay, out there I can see how that would like be down wrong. in Salt Lake there's five like a five digit number for a street I'm like no, no I, can't. I, I have a family member that but, lives in LA but it's 110 south so it's 110 zero Zero, and you just go and then the south and the down. east and the yeah. although there is i'll get to you in a minute there the is a fifth south and there's a fifth avenue and they're not in the same Very place different. i learned that at a birthday party surprise and if party. you're in leighton kaysville area that can get confusing that's too true they overlap each other they do and there's a north that's their north yeah same with uh Orem and provo son yeah. of a gun okay go la south LA. la i have a friend that lives in well a cousin east la uh, guy that lives in la and uh his wife constantly tries to convince me that getting around LA is easier than getting around really? Salt Lake City. Really? Like, you're absolutely really? out of your no. mind. No! Like, Salt Lake's so easy. Yeah. It's, it's a, a grid. grid. It's a grid. It's like, it is like you sunk paper. my battleship, B9. Yeah. Like, you know right where that is. It is graph paper. You yeah. know exactly yeah. where everything is. There's a north, south, and an east, and a west. But a south from what? Master from the, from the main, what's up, dude? From the, temple, from, the, from the temple. Yeah, there you go. From the temple. It's from that's that's the main that's south. Our, There's south uh, temple. Yeah, it's and all then it goes from down that. From that. And yeah, what, can, what confuses me is that they're all one lane roads, and that drives me nuts. There are several nuts. Lanes, I, I can get yeah. the numbers, but they're just all. Oh, did you want to go left? Oh, sorry. Nah. That'll be Especially three more left. We don't need that. Uh, it's rough. I, what was the city I was in when we did that? But it was like, it changed at four o'clock at, at night. Like the one ways went the other the way at some point in the day. <laughs> that I was like DC or something. <laughs> I, went, I'm good. I would that. die yeah, so yeah. fast. And, still, and you're like <laughs> yeah. going Not like a wreck. I would die. Signs that are like one way from 9 a.m. to yeah, 4 Yeah, it's actually yeah. really, really disorienting. Yes, there, there's a lot of those in New Jersey and, um, I saw uh, I some in Virginia and Washington, D.C. Yeah, it's freaky. Like, it's it's really disorienting because you think you get a grasp of kind of the area and what you're doing, and then it's, like, over. <laughs> the, sign, the signs in that area, they're, like, they're like this long because there's so many rules when you need to park here. Yeah. It's, like, don't park here between 1011 to 1152, 106. Uh, yeah, one, one, like oh, my gosh. Like every 10 minutes, there's a different rule for <laughs> if you can park there. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, it's Obnoxious. Insane. 
Um, anyway, this so is a video game podcast. Yeah. It and, is. And I, I swear it is. it is. We're yeah. not going to complain about street names the yeah. whole time, but <laughs> this is a but I could. cartography uh, <laughs> podcast for we today. We like our geography. <laughs> I actually have been having conversations like regularly about like cartography and compasses and maps and stuff. Really? Um, yeah, because I'm in the planning stages of um summer camps for my boy scouts oh. so it's like time to start planning out like where are we going what are we doing how like how hardcore do we want to actually make it <clears throat> and that's a that's a difficult like thing to figure out because uh i cover yeah i cover 12 to 18 but specifically like i'm directly responsible for the 16 to 18 year olds and um the thing that's hard is like Man, some of them could do some really hardcore. Like when I was um, when I was 16, our summer camps were like, don't "Hey, we're going on 50 die. mile hikes through the mountains," and it was like you had to hack your way through with machetes as you like carved your way through, you know, the mountain. And it was awesome, super super fun, uh, a little bit dangerous, and we were always kind of worried that we'd run out of food if we didn't get to where we were supposed to go. Um, but I'm not sure that my my dudes can handle. Not uh, I know that. Most of them could. I'm not sure that all of them could. So I'm a little, a little uh, th they'd be okay. A little nervous. You know, just drop them halfway back on the trail. They'll be fine. Yeah, that's halfway. That's, halfway. That's what I have like, to do. You wait. We the moss. Do. Follow the moss. Wait, <laughs> Sorry, I was playing with the light. Yeah, it got a lot brighter. <laughs> new set means new light. Hi, can you hear me? I have a story. When I did scouty things, which was like once, um, for five years, we would take the the. The, the ones that wanted to be a little bit more intense, and we would do something called the night owl. And the leaders would run, during the day, one of the leaders would take basically a, a compassed course a mile and a half into the woods using reflecting tape and putting on oh, different cool. trees. And so then you'd get your compass course with a flashlight, and you would you'd get your right heading, and then the boys would shine their flashlights as they head that way, trying to find the owl eyes in the trees. Huh. So that cool. was, and that was felt like the step up from the younger, like, Let's read the map. Cool. I did Girl Scouts. They took us fishing, and I hooked one of the girls in the leg, and that was the end of my adventure. That's awesome. <laughs> they sent you home right away? No. I was, I was like, I'm going to cast. And then I hear this like blood-curdling scream, and the girl's like ripping like her mm. <laughs> oh. the fish Rule hook. Rule number one, do out. not rip the fish hook out. No, right? so that's exactly what she did. She's like, I'm like, uh, oh. I feel bad. And that's the like food there, was terrible, there's so a couple I was out. Of no badges things. for you. There's a couple of different things that you should never like pull out. If, Carnage badge. Like, actually, technically. <laughs> Humans? If anything is ever stuck in your body, <laughs> like don't just pull it out. Right, rebar or anything. Just, just a word of advice that. from a medic. Yeah, don't pull it, it out. Leave it in. Because then you, you pull it out and you, you bleed out. The wound. But so here's a here's a fun story, and this is again not stories. game related. I apologize I to everyone that stories. came here expecting a video game podcast today. But I'm going to go back to a time where I almost blinded someone, guys. Ooh. Wait, you've so, broken legs, I think too. I don't know. Is that like a daredevil tie in at all, or maybe? So here's the thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I'm a pretty tall, gangly little ginger. Yeah, it's, right? no, I've noticed. Um, like, not even so a secret as, anymore. As a young man in junior high school, I was double gangly from what I am today. Whoa, 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 um, whoa. It was, I was like six foot five. I wore size 14 shoes. Um, you were six five in high school? Junior high. Junior high? Whoa. As like a seventh grader. Um, I barely made I four maybe, or five. I maybe weighed 150 pounds. Oh my god! Six foot five, size 14 shoes, 150 pounds. It's like a little scarecrow. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> quite literally an orange on a toothpick. Right? <laughs> so, as you can imagine, someone who looked like an orange on a toothpick probably got teased a little bit. A um, little. That oh, was sure. that was a thing Poor that thing. happened regularly. This like, explains teasing. a lot. Yeah. This does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so anyway, one day I'm sitting in class and this kid starts throwing broken pencils at me. He's what? like breaking them, chucking them, breaking them, chucking them, and I'm getting pissed. And I like, I got teased, but I also got in a lot of fights and whooped a lot of ass because mm -hmm. I got, I, I just wouldn't. I, and you would. There was like this breaking point where I like, I was like, I can't take it. We're fist fighting now. And um, <laughs> so this kid's throwing these pencils at me, right? And I'm like, dude, knock it off. Quit throwing shit at me. And he keeps throwing it. Boom, boom. Throw, keeps throwing. Anytime the teacher looks away. Throws it at me. Oh man! So I pick up a handful of this crap off the floor, like a full handful of pencils, and I chuck it at him, and one sticks in his eye, like uh, full blown, uh, sticks in this fool's eye. Boom, I told you, fool. Sticks in it. Oh man! And he starts screaming, <laughs> and like, like grabs it, and I'll never forget him yanking it out, and like blood being like <laughs> coming out of his eye, oh and my I was gosh. like. 
I told he deserved you, it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I remember yelling, he deserved it. <laughs> so the teacher comes running up. She's looking at him, and I watch his eyeball oh, I can't fill up with blood la, to the la, hole, la, 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 la. and then it's draining out the hole. So there's wow. like, wow. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. We should. <laughs> if you're looking at someone's <laughs> graphic blue, content, yeah. If you're looking at someone's blue pupil, blood will literally fill up to the to the hole. Like so to the his, to the iris, his, like the actual his, iris. His blue was now red, mm -hmm. uh, where the hole up to where the hole was, and I was like, I was like, I'm really sorry, but he deserved it. <laughs> That's what I did. kept saying over and, and over and over again. Yeah. So, Robin, how you doing? I get, I get, doing great. <laughs> I, get I was the, hungry. <laughs> I get sent to the principal's office, and um, he's in there too with the nurse. You know, they're calling the ambulance, and they're like, "What the? What were you doing? Wait, what were you thinking? thinking? Why would you do yeah. this?" And I was like, "He, every one of those pencils, he had already thrown at me. I just threw it back. He deserved it. I'm sorry that it happened. I feel bad actually that it happened, but he deserved it." He's like, "I did. I deserved it." <laughs> 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 I didn't get in trouble, that's so good on him for, for, right, for owning like, up, man. owning like, it. Like I did it. he was being Gosh, an ass. That's hilarious. So anyway, <laughs> like in a gruesome nice. sort of way. The nicest, on, right? That's why when you <laughs> person, yeah, I'll bet you anything. Yeah, he's yeah. like, like I'm pretty found sure we ended up in a few more fist fights after that. But like, wow. I mean, that dude was that dude was at home sleeping in a recliner with an eye patch for like. <laughs> A month and a half. Oh my gosh. Um, Creepy. On a similar note, have you guys watched Daredevil? No. Nope. Season no. two. Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, season two has got some eye gouging stuff that is hardcore, huh? I have to agree. Yes. Uh, season two has been uh, season two has been quality. You, you haven't know, watched it. You said you're waiting, right? Do you uh, like the waiter or are you just not interested? So I know most shows you're like, I'll wait until it's done and then I'll watch this it. This one, not so much. It's a season, superhero. I'm not season a superhero. Season two, but I have to say like Punisher made season two but that was it the electra side story the electra was pretty meh it was very meh it was very distracting and it, it, i find electra very distracting just in <laughs> person yeah you know, just like the general like, no, but it i was, felt like it punisher like, storyline was way deeper way better it was and it was so it was like expertly executed yep. and uh this is actually scott's shirt that i got him for like the oh, right yay you have a job that you really like now That's congratulations awesome. yes. yeah congratulations Stupid scott stoked and uh so i got him the shirt and i stole it right back <laughs> that's the way so, to do it it's like nice. here you go honey mine that's, that's nice. how you know it's quality that's yep good. Very cool. So um, outside of Daredevil, um, I played a little bit of The Division. Um, still Only playing a little catch bit? Up. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, like I, I think I've put in, well, I'm level 16, 16 That's now. High. That's high. That's like twice as far as two so weeks the, ago. So the max is Math. 30. Um, I did get power leveled. We talked about last week. I That's think, right. I you get drugged through some heavy. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't progressed too far since I played with Knuckles. But um, yeah, it's been fun. It, uh, it's a game that does a lot of things right. does a few things um, that are definitely frustrating one of those is um if you go into the dark zone they're broken into um a four level spread so like if you're level 10 to 14 everyone in the dark zone is 10 to 14. so if i'm playing with someone who's a level 20 and i'm a level 14 we can't play together uh, right okay. we can't go to the dark zone together uh. so that's i think i think that's a big mistake um i can understand why they did it because if level 14s were in there with level 20s they just get smoked all right, day long right. like it would just be a bloodbath all day long and it wouldn't be fun for the level 14s but that's kind of the point of getting together with a team and like surrounding yourself with stronger players so that you can go in as a team and survive uh so i i think i think that that was a mistake and i'm hoping that um i hope that's reevaluated going forward in Destiny news, uh, something that we're not going to be getting into in the newsy section. Right, but, but um, so the last couple of weeks, Bungie has been doing um, announcement things for this April update. It's April twelfth, oh. I believe. That's um, this big update's coming. So they got a couple new, um, uh, a brand new strike, and then they're updating some of the year one strikes. And they are raising the light level. Level they've brought uh, about a dozen more year one weapons up to um, year two hmm. light levels. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. You're, you're going to dive in you a know, little the, bit more? I, I don't think I can help but to dive That's in more. True. Like, That's true. He can't help himself. Destiny, like, again, like, the things that Destiny does right it's a month. are fantastic. It's, a good month. it's okay, yeah. yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah. The things that Destiny does right are fantastic. And I've been very vocal and clear and open about the fact that they do a lot of stuff wrong. And I still think they do. And one of their biggest things that they're doing wrong is their communication. Like, their, their communication with their fans has been 
really, really frustrating recently. Mm -hmm. But um, from just a, you know, just from like having fun in a game, I have fun playing Destiny. And yeah. um, I, kn I know that that's not a pot, like liking Destiny right now is not a popular thing, but like, I'm not gonna apologize for having fun. Me you know? being obsessed with Gravity Rush night right now right. is not a popular thing. I. But you know what I'm saying? Can. Like yeah. when, when, when uh, yeah, when you tell people like, yeah, I still play Destiny, they're like, whoa, that's that's an old game, man. I'm like, it's fun. But it's it Period. is it is about the community and what they've done to actually help cultivate it. For sure. So. For sure. It uh, yeah. It's I, about the people, not the game. That's right. That's and I and I know that. Um, I don't know. Like I, I talked about a little bit last week. I'm I'm trying to put something cool together for um, another another game that comes out next year um, for Mass Effect. And uh, the more I jump into old Mass Effect, the more I, and and I know that this is a very unpopular thought. I really do want there to be cooperative missions in Mass Effect. Like I want Mass Effect Andromeda to be a place where I can go with my friends. Right. That is what I valued most from Destiny is the the ability to go into this cool universe. Um, hey, and, buddies, come with me and go with my friends. Yeah, like, I like you guys that they have call been able to go along team, with me. I think it's rad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been super super fun. And so um, I'm Sometimes really hoping that that is the case. We get friends together and we go get a drink together and I call ourselves a fire team. Yep. In real life. In real life. Yep. I wish I, <laughs> Grab I wish my fire I had team. In real life. <laughs> go, yeah, well. <laughs> That's all. I'm just trying to bring the buddy friend. To Other than that, let's see. Life. What else have I done? Um, are you packing up? Are that's you, it. Are you putting boxes together? Yet? Yeah, we're yet? we're in full blown pack mode. Oh. Um, we hopefully will be closing on the house uh, Friday, if not wow. Friday, if not like Friday this, Monday. Yeah. April yeah. So day. I had a, I had, a school, <laughs> yeah. had a school issue with our Studio Seventy Six stuff. It's a lie. Um, Cause a delay. Yeah, it did, I did in, cause a delay in my uh, closing, which is absolutely. I think ridiculous. it's more so ridiculous. If, if they you have, thought if, it was a problem. Yeah, but yes. Weird. So yeah. five people, I should let them know. So if you, don't buy a yeah. House. So if you are, um, if you're a, an employee of one of the radio stations, Studio Seventy Six, whatever it is, uh, make sure your students know that if they're planning on buying a house, their tax, their W, their their tax return for that year, will have like an S C H, and then whatever that scholarship money was. That'll be a line item that will be included as their total income for the year. Right. Even though it never went to them, like I never got paid mm -hmm. to be in Studio 76. It went right. straight to tuition, but they counted they as count income. It. But they should, they, they give you a form, right? They give you a form. Scrap. And you fill it out and put it it's in. It's crap. Right What's crap is I did all my taxes. Remember I told you the government took it away? Yeah. Mm. But every year that I do my taxes, I always tell TurboTax, I do it online. I'm always like, yeah, I'll take the audit. I'll take this package, right? Because I know I'm going to get something back. So I, I, I get a little carefree. Yeah. Until this time, when about four weeks after finding out that the government was going to keep it, I get the bill from TurboTax. No. Oh, oh, the government didn't give you any money, so we need you to pay us 180 bucks. And I'm like, those turds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. But yeah, stupid TurboTax. Turds. Sweet turds. So a little bit of gaming, well, it's not a lot of bit of life. Me. It was a lot of me. A little bit of gaming, a lot of bit of life in uh, in my week. What about you guys? I'm I'm pretty life heavy. Yeah. My my plan coming in this week was to be like short on the breakdown of what I've done and that. Well, that, that kind of didn't happen. And, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, Layla's birthday happened. Yay. We did. We had a fun and time. Yes, we all went to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we did. And just demolished on the yeah. tickets. We ran. Uh, we ran the tables. Yeah, ran we the did. tables. Ran, ran the like tables. two machines out of tickets completely. Uh -huh. They had to uh -huh. shut oh, for two real? machines. SpongeBob. Yeah, I kept, yeah. SpongeBob. Oh, I kept loading the. It was <laughs> awesome. So, uh, yes, uh, thank you again for making my daughter's birthday yeah, fantastic. Fun. Thanks for having us. It was kind of kind of creepy was, to see Rachel running around without kids. I know. It was kind of like, man. who's this lurker? What's going on? It's just me. I am a kid. You are a kid. Whatever. Everyone will come mm -hmm. up to me and say, like, oh, don't take this wrong way, but you look like a kid. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Someday you'll be, you'll be glad. Like when you're like yeah. 40, right, right, people like, are like, you right. look like you're 20. You'd I'm 40. Like, All right. Yeah. I'm 40. That's cool. Yeah, that's what that's everyone true. tells me. I don't really care. That's where my I, if I wanted to look older, then I could look older, but I'm, yeah. Yeah. I bother. I, uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> mm, I'm cheap. You're, you're, you're fancy. I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking older is expensive. Are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, it is. I yeah. think so. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I also use Layla's birthday as an excuse to get an Xbox One because I wanted to you get her. I, I, I wanted to get her the Skylander you Superchargers and I wanted her to get off of my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, you know what? It'll be a, it'll be a good opportunity. We can just like diversify, you know, be, be truly the hybrid family that I know that we are. That's and we so have funny. been
been trying to make the Xbox One a functional machine, and it's not happening. Really? I hate it. Every Ooh, piece of it. Every fiber of my being. <laughs> Sorry. So it's just, just like, why so? Yeah, why? The, the interface is terrible. I can't find anything. It doesn't make any sense. And it isn't even like, well, this is something new. It's like this is like doesn't such, make sense. It is a total non sequitur. Kind of like, I, uh, how was it? Uh, the last it's, it's Windows win OS. Um, Windows seven, eight. Yeah, eight, eight. It was uh, Windows eight, and then it just took a massive crap on the screen. Because <laughs> when just, like navigating does, Windows eight was really that was difficult. Weird. It is just it's just so odd hmm. and they fixed a lot of it with like Windows 10 but th they're still running off of this it's, it's just a terrible How is it interface. comparable to the Xbox 360 because when I went to the PlayStation uh the you, the user interface being frustrated with that, right? was obnoxious for the PlayStation yeah. 3 like the, um, the one on the 360 weird. was so yeah choice 360 totally Logical. I could totally understand where things were going with that. They're like little things that are hidden Couple. in in Xbox One. I just I can't get there. It takes forever because to you're get supposed to just tell her to work. Xbox. That's what Glenn does at least. <laughs> Xbox yeah. do things. Volume up. He does. He talks to it all the time. I know. All the time. But I mean, I can't because otherwise it's going to. <laughs> otherwise it's going to record how much I swear. <laughs> Damn it, Xbox. <laughs> And then it'll rise up and it will. Xbox, go home. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm really surprised actually. That's it, I I am actually I'm very surprised that I dislike it as much as oh. I do. So, okay. I'm, I'm just like here, Layla. You just you play Skyrim. Figure Skylanders it out. That. Yeah, right. Good Basically. luck. Basically, that's funny. That is funny. Good so there's luck. my world. Uh, mine's short and easy. I have been spent. I spent the entire week. Um, I don't think I gamed. I don't even think I played much more than like two levels of Bubble Bobble this last week. I have not had much gaming at all because um, the uh, thesis chair for my wife's thesis mm -hmm. basically did the eye tracking study and then said, "Here, here's the data from the eye tracking study. Figured. I figured out." And and sh the last time that she had used the eye tracker was a year ago. And so she's like, by the end, joking, she's like, by the end of this, you guys are going to be, you're going to know more about this than, than we do. And her husband's like a professional eye tracker. Like that's what he's, he's yes, very good what at his that. Research that's what his research is. Um, and so they send us, send us off with, with her study and all this data. And sure enough, they, they have a $400 like eye tracker mm -hmm. and the data, the software that comes with it does nothing more than count where your eyeballs go, but it doesn't calculate anything. Oh, you have to and you have everything? to you have to make it all happen. And so I have spent the last week building spreadsheets in Excel oh. that are oh. horrendous. So I could take out of this this eye tracker, we have fifty something people split between two full studies, and anytime you have to start somebody over, it keeps them as a user and adds a new username. Oh no. So I had no. like we had I know, right? Are you hurting? No. This has been the worst experience oh, ever, the, and that's not even my damn thesis. The data like, cleaning just for this? Yeah, it's so oh. horrible data cleaning because it's like Think about 45 users, 20 of them are the ones you want, and you've got to jump, like you've got to run through all those numbers to find your 20. On two sets, 40 here, 40 here, but only 20 on each that are good. Wow. And then pulling those numbers out, um, it, the, you, you create these areas of interest, and we have six versions of these stories that I made. Remember me talking forever about these stories that I made? Yes. I, sh I better get some authorship on this paper. You, right? I was just gonna say, are you getting I any don't think I'm getting anything other than love. I would, that's a cleaner way to say it. Thanks. Nice Hopefully. work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for your help, honey. Um, so the hardest thing has been like... I earned it. <laughs> so wrong. Uh, the hardest thing has been, honestly, like this data is so messed up that I have figured... I could, I could write the manual that does not exist for this eye tracker. I've, I've gotten that wow. deep into how it works. Uh, six versions, eight pages per version. So it's 48 versions and eight kids per version like it, it's wow. just massive numbers of, of information and I've, i'm building spreadsheets and doing all the calculations to be like this is how much time they spent on page one page two page three add all those up here's all the time they spent on words here's all the time they spent on text anyway or images right. so my brain is fried and i didn't game at all but i think tonight after the show we were both so burned out that we're just we're just gonna veg for once uh, in many weeks. So is veg uh, the clean way of saying? No, 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 no. That's like really we're gonna watch Seinfeld or something. Like, okay. uh, like straight you're up, gonna, no you're, euphemism. You're we're just Netflix gonna Netflix and chill, but no. really just Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. <laughs> we're so tired. Oh, but next week is spring break for the kids. Right. Which means my parents are gonna take the kids 
away for nice. about three or four days. Oh my god! Let no. her focus on that paper. That's a thing. Yeah, right. They Man, call. They I, call. I, them I wish that was a thing in my life. I com- I complained a lot. Gosh, dang. My, and my mom and dad probably feel guilty because I was just like, oh, this is so hard. And they're you know they're an hour away, yeah. and they're busy. They they live in a house that they expanded on to put more family in the house with them, and so they I'm like, thinking about like. This? I'm thinking about faking like a vacation out of the country where I'm like, I, I gotta really, go, right? I, I'm getting a free vacation, mom. I need you, you know, can you watch the kids for a couple and days? And then not go in. And then just hang out at yes. home. Yes. And just chill out. Yes. Like adults that have no responsibilities for just a couple days. Oh, I'm trying to find, oh. to find that one. <laughs> that would be great. I think my favorite, one of my favorite Louis C.K. quotes is where he says, how people get super excited. People, adults, always, you know, you know, you're talking to an adult when they say they get really super excited on what they did this weekend and their, their responses. Nothing, and their eyes always light up. <laughs> 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 like, I didn't, I didn't do oh. anything. Yeah, how does it feel? Like this is the, the reality is that this. Rachel lives our dream yep. every day. Yep, living with Leon. Oh, that's really? like? that's oh. my dream, living mm. with Leon. That's you work hard. It's you work the pre. I'm so jealous of Leon's hair. I mean, not gonna you, lie. You <laughs> might babysit Leon a little bit, but like uh. for the most part, you're not babysitting someone when you come home, right? <laughs> I'm it's like, all you. <laughs> he's gonna hate me for this. Wait, do you have cats? I'm such a clean person. Oh no! And living with a boy is so hard because boys are not clean. No, no. Farts and We're boys. Not. I'm okay with the farts and poops. It's just like the little the things, like just like the dishes. Yep. I'm poop, poops and farts are okay. What was it? Um, <laughs> I think I farted once in front of. I had That's I had awesome. been dating Leon for months and he had not farted or anything. And then I'm lactose intolerant. My body doesn't digest things well, so I so I like, fart. I don't know. I don't know. I usually I'm I'm pretty open about farts, so I don't As know. As we should be. I support yes. public farts. <laughs> yes. I know. Yep. I don't know if I'd never farted in front of him or anything, but one time I just fart and farted, and he was just so shocked. Was he shit, said, like scared? Like no, what? he was just like you just opened up a can of worms. And ever <laughs> ever <laughs> since then, I just it's just he was shocked. He's like I thought I girls was, took pills for that. Oh, man. <laughs> he was ready. He that. was just no. waiting for me to break the ice, but ever yeah. since he's just. A, your relationship, oh. like that's like a whole new Movie level. Movie forty mess. That's that's know it's real. Gosh, wow. it's, it's just like wow. if you can be that comfortable. Uh, before we get, jump in, I have one last thing to say about adulting. I know that I have reached the level of adulthood because I had a nightmare last night. Usually I don't remember my dreams, but I had a nightmare last night, and it was about losing my insurance. Oh my gosh! Uh, like, and <laughs> like I'm your just health like, insurance. My that's health intense. insurance. <laughs> and I just remember waking Big up days. in like a cold sweat, like. <gasps> <laughs> Everything's fine. What? I have a nightmare about losing my insurance. Who that's hilarious. am I? Oh, that's like, fantastic. Yeah, that's big time. <laughs> like, oh, that's big time. I have, wow. Did you, I did you get any games just in? burp out the wrong uh, end. Oh, my gosh. No, I haven't. I've been, uh, <laughs> I've wanted to get the division, but I just haven't had. That's I've right, because you were on it like the day one to go get it, and you got yeah. thwarted at Walmart with Apple Pay. Thwar- and I just haven't. You gone still haven't since. gotten it. No, I haven't no. gotten since. I've been looking for jobs and I'm kind surprised. of like doing okay. that transition. So I've been pretty, I've been pretty life heavy. I wish I had more time for games. Um, we'll get there. Leon and I have been playing Candy Crush. We're we're competitive couples, so when he starts playing something, I need to. I beat think that's him. awesome. Yeah, yeah. I need to yeah. beat yeah. him. Yeah. At that's it. fantastic. It's very frustrating because the type of person I am. Uh, I get super hurt about it. So if you ask any of my friends, I'm not, I'm not a good loser. I think I'm, I'm not going to feed like, you tonight. That's, that's a, I think a great, <laughs> it's a good bonding. Like <laughs> you want, you want a partner that is like, that is as passionate about, about the same things you are, you know? Well, just and so if it's like, off. Hey, we both like candy crush. Like, even if it's just candy crush, we both like candy <laughs> right? crush. I'm going to beat you. Like, that's awesome. We just uh, I think that's cool. we wish we wish there were more co-op games. Uh, we've been super stoked for Bro Forest Hell Divers. That was but, fun. Those are fun. Mm-hmm. But we want more of those. Um, if we want to play a co-op game now, we Portal Two. We want to play. Um, yeah. We can play Borderlands on split screen TV. But do you know if the new uh, Gearbox game um, Battleborn? Battleborn. Battle, Battleborn. Yeah, Battleborn. Battleborn. Is that co-op? Bladderborn. Bladderborn. <laughs> Is that couch co-op? I don't know. That should, I that think game it looks should fantastic. Be. It does look good. That game looks so We're funny. Find out. Have you it, guys just super sucks. it just super sucks because if we want to play, we can't. We can't. Sure. I, can't. What about Doom? Uh, quick. I just pre-ordered Doom. it. You did get Battleborn? Battleborn. I'm this close to pre-ordering No Man's Sky. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, that's couch co-op. You get 20% off Amazon. No? Yeah, I really yeah. don't know the Doom series. Yes. Or Diablo. 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 There we go. Wow. Had a moment. Oh, those are the days. Um, cool. That, cool. I think, wraps up our week. Let's jump into the news. I got news. All right. Everyone, remain calm. 
Let's soak him for crutches! Yeah! We're gonna crack him in the face for and this one's kind of cool, but it's fun. It is uh, the rumor we talked about with that PS4 upgrade. We called it like the PS4.5. It's got a way cooler name. Turns out the rumor now says it's called the PS4K. Now, is that cool or what? I didn't even That's think of really that. Sick. I was yeah. like, oh, like 4K TVs, yeah. Yeah. Because that was the whole idea, like push more graphic intensive stuff. So yes, rumor, you can't really do a whole lot with the rumor because Sony's got this no comment thing on it. But from NeoGAF and a couple of other places, they're basically saying should be GPU should be... Again, grain of salt, GPU should be twice as powerful than the standard PS4, much faster, um, higher clocking speed, much, you know, a little bit smaller than the original, and then we know that it's mainly for uh, the PSVR and for 4K games, and there's rumor of, um, let's see, uh, Eve, Valkyrie, uh, maybe a God of War 4, like these are things that are like in the rumor mill, so I don't know right. how much we want to play with those but it sounds like there are some things i think there's enough there's enough being right coming Where out there's, and there's enough chatter coming out there's that, fire. that i think there's probably some truth to this rumor and um you know what's funny is like i i could care less honestly about the 4k right now like i don't have a 4k television yeah. right but i don't know that what will. is what is really interesting about this what's exciting to me is the that it's faster like so I've I've been spending time on the PS3 recently. Oh, and, and you feel it. Holy crap. Right? Yeah. That thing it. is slow. That is like painfully slow. And so um I you know, we live in a time where like time is money, right? Like the faster something is the 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 more value it has. And uh I'm I'd be tempted to get a I'd be tempted to get an upgraded system if it was if it was running a little bit quicker. If there was more memory to it, yeah, right, as well, because I'm, I'm dying. I have to delete things. Yes, to, you need to do space. anything else. I love though too that they mention Eve Valkyrie. That is, I, as of right now, um, as far as confirmed PSVR games go, that is the one that I'm like, I'm chomping at the bit. I, I think Eve Valkyrie just looks amazing. Have you guys followed that at all? Yes, it looks. It looks sharp. It looks like amazing. You. I'm, I'm super stoked. So that's our, that's our rumor for number one. Uh, and news number two, and there's, there's some news that's going on this week, but news number two, we talked a little bit about a while ago about Rocket League uh, teasing us with this basketball yeah. type me mode, and it was announced that now they'll, in, uh, certainly in April, I believe is when they said, right? Dunk House. Basketball mode Dunk House will arrive in April. So dunk House? You're going to break some axles in the Dunk House this April. So that'll be, that I think would be a lot of fun. How would you yeah. get it up there? Like, I mean, get, what? Yeah, it's, I'm excited to figure ramp. out. Like, just drive it up yeah, the ramp. I think it sounds to awesome. Like, I think it sounds super, super there. fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Do you think the ball will be bouncier be than another, the soccer ball? It'll be another sports game I'm terrible at. It's so. already pretty bouncy. But I think you have to hold fun. on to it it somehow. Oh, you th oh that'd be cool. Maybe. That would be cool you if you could actually. You just have to get better. Hit it out of people. What would be cool is if they had like little like pots that were like launching you in the air mm -hmm. so like you could be cruising and just hit it and it launches you automatically yeah, say, I bet, that could be cool i bet you're the ball it. what if you're the ball i'm i'm up for whatever i think it'd so, be fun so, so then to pass the car it, you'd, yeah 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 ta oh, wait, wait, tag like somebody that. or something and then fly up i think that yeah launch you flips and then so yeah i like, I like cool. um i don't know if so they've mentioned that it's a paid add-on yet or if it's free i would imagine i guess this is just me like wishful thinking that they would be like it's Rocket League. It's just another mode. Like, people are playing and loving it, and we've it got won't. a good audience, but starting to get tired. Here I, have a, I have a feeling they'll I probably think, charge for it. You think so? I, yeah. I, I guess I'm just hopeful. Would. I'm just. Hopeful. I bet it's gonna be a brand new game. If not, a whole new like. Rocket. Is it just DLC? Well, they said it's DLC. I oh, I bet they'll they said it's DLC. It. So I, I would assume like it's a, it's a pretty DLC. small game, and mm -hmm. and I think they've been shocked at how well received it's been. Yeah. Um, I think they're gonna try. It so it. Fun. Yeah, right. I think they're gonna yeah. try and make. If I've learned money anything, if I've learned anything from like having the indie games, it's that everything still costs money. Oh, and yeah. something yeah. you know, before we before we jump too far ahead, um, if we can go back to number one for a second. Uh, uh, no, what hold is on, it? hold on. Game Informer says Rocket League slams it down next month. Oh, free, free. Dunk House update. There you go. Cool. <laughs> there you go. I win. Well, this changes right, everything. That's fantastic. Okay, yes. so um, that was just so you know that was a unanimous uh, gasp. <laughs> so nice. Nady, so Nady ninety four. Um, back when we were talking about PlayStation PS four PS four K, um, asked price. I think that's probably worth us yeah. speculating a little bit yeah, on it, right? I don't think um, it's sad. I, I, mean, it's, any, I mean, it's confirmed, right? unconfirmed. It's a rumor. What are you thinking? I bet you anything that it is going to be the exact same price that it, that the original PlayStation 4 was, and they will do a price drop 
for this current PS4. That would be awesome. That seems because like Because it, it makes right? sense what they would do with that because that's exactly what they did with the, the PS3. Four, the three. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. they had the, with P- Slim. The, the first one, they had the piano, yep. and then they came out with Slim. Slim. I think, Wait, well, I think that'd be sweet. Wait, what is I think if they could do that, that'd be sweet. Three, what is it? Four, three ninety nine. When three ninety nine. Yeah. What it came out? Because mm-hmm. that's what the PSVR is going to be. Man, eight hundred bucks for Sucks. a pair. I'm poor. Right? I'm I so poor. That. I just I'm you still trying need, to pay off my you own. You don't need you don't need PS4 K to no, play right, VR. Right? No, that's mm-hmm. true. That's true. I think the experience would be intense. With and if you priced graphics, it out, what, so what's interesting is if you priced it out the entire package to have um, the PlayStation Four. PlayStation VR, the camera, and the little dongle the things. M- oh motion. That is cheaper than the HTC Vibe. Yes. Yep. That yep. all of that is the cheaper than thing. just the the headset, yep. not it's including the high end rig that you'd have to have to be have running to, everything as well. Jungle. That's true. So I think from a from a price point, I think Sony's well, for definitely the, for the masses idea, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think they're definitely the ones that are going to be pushing it, so it's it's exciting. Anyway, moving on. Sorry. No, this it was good. I love bringing the bringing the chats in. Thanks, Nadia ninety four. You get the right number, 94, 24, 65. Yeah, you got it right. Hey, so news number three. Hey. News number three is PlayStation Plus. This is like we're up on April. So last several years, we've seen a lot of experimentation with blending of genres. So these titles now for this month of April are shining examples of the kind of mashups that create a lot of rich, layered gaming experiences. Uh, so here we are. On the PS Vita, a virus named Tom. Has anyone played that one? I have not played I have it. heard of it, but I have not played I it. I like the name of it, a virus named Tom. If you name your viruses and then you can kill them, then it feels better. It feels more... Aw, you, know, you have connections. Bugs. You have only uh, heard of one of these. Dead Star nope. on the PS4. Anybody? Dead Star? Nope. Whoa. I Am Alive on the PS3. Nope. And Savage Moon on the PS3. Nope. No? Really? No, none of it. Uh, Shuchimi on the nope. PS Vita. I'm hoping that that has something to do with sushi. Sushimi? But it's Shutsimi? Shuchimi. 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 I hope it's tasty. Somebody look that one up. And PS4 is zombie with no E. So that is, that's that is zombie U. That's so zombie, they U. From zombie U. What? And that's zombie they've ported U. it over. Are you yeah. serious? I was not aware. Because oh, I remember the them teasing that. that at conferences and showing like, yeah, this is going to be the this Wii U. Is why the Wii U's so you look cool. down here and you have your lock pick and you can. <gasps> yep. Wow. So that's a game that was initially launched I knew in 2012. Zombie, yeah. Right, it was a zombie. And like a, was a big fat know, flop from what I heard. Flop, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the scores aren't that bad. Seven and a half on IGN, three and a half out of five for Metacritic. It's, it's not huge. It is a zombie game, but <laughs> I do remember what... <laughs> you got me. We know, Drew. You got me. We know. I do remember watching the previews and thinking how cool that Wii U experience would be on this tablet. Because they have the the flashlight. Yeah, right? The flashlight. Cool. You can have your lockpick belt or whatever it is that's mm-hmm. down here. Or you're putting a code in here that's supposed to go on that. I, I did like that. I wonder how they'll do that with the PS4. Speaking of Wii U, are you, do you I guys think we're going to get the... Wii Wii? You go. Okay, you go. So the rumors are that Nintendo's going to announce a new console. Console. Because they've already shut down production of the Wii U. Right. So they have to be working on something yeah. next level. Unless they pull what, uh, who was it, uh, Konami and say we're scrapping. <laughs> we're scrapping the whole. Th- we're, we're moving to mobile Bye-bye. and. That's right. Mm-hmm. I mean, would that surprise Portable. anyone? Portable. It would. I, it would because Nintendo still, I mean, they may not have the strongest hold in gamer land here, but I think they still have strong legs to stand on. Like they are. They're seasoned. I don't think right, they're going they're, anywhere I mean, in the console they're, world. They're like, I don't think they're leaving. I wonder if they'll go all portable MOS. Have you ever seen that? Because like, their 3DS machines can play anything. Maybe. Okay, those those machines. That's I think, what I'm wondering. Can like, play anything. That, I didn't consider that mobile, but I guess it kind of is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it isn't. Handheld. It isn't a phone, but right. you know, they would be the ones still in control of, tech, of the technology, yeah. and that's one of the big things that Nintendo has always. That's been. That's where they utterly dominate for yeah. sure. Yes, but they've always been very, very uh, cloistered. And they've word. been well, like, <gasps> well, insular, like, get, right. like Connect- keeping everything inside, right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, how you can't uh, share codes about like Mario Maker online. You know, like you can't tweet it out to your friends. You have to take a picture of it and then put it up on. They a control board. every part of the message. Right. right. So they they control a whole lot of the software, the everything. I don't think that they would be comfortable letting their product be determined by somebody else's hardware. So I, that, I agree. That, that's been what that's Nintendo's what, yeah. been all yeah. about. That's how they reestablish the gaming industry. I, I'm, I'm leaning on, I think they're going to come up with another console. I think they are. I think they are. I think that they, they, the Wii U didn't do bad. Uh, I think that they are going to 
probably upgrade that and you don't and think try it did bad? I think it utterly flopped. I think the marketing. I, think it flopped. I didn't know that they, it, it, that it even existed. I mean, really until they essentially launched the Xbox 360 think, at the same time the Xbox right, One well, was coming out. Right. I mean, that's that's, that's, that's like the feel equivalent. for it. That's yeah. kind of feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, in their own world, though, they still have the. The, the Nintendo fans are going to be the Nintendo fans because of the family gaming and that uh, and that level. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see it as like a stepping zone, like a gateway drug. You grow up on the Wii, the Wii U, and then when you move out of the house, that's when you get the real game that's consoles. Fair. I don't know. That's kind of. I don't know. I just think. Um, I just think Nintendo's almost like almost hit a brick wall. Like they're they they're. Yeah, like their demographic, they have the tablet, they had the motion control, which is cool, and then they had the tablet, which is kind of like, we need something mm. that sets us apart and things like that. But I mean, their demographic and their audience loves Nintendo because, because of the classics, the classics. and that almost the prevents classics. them. That almost prevents yeah. them from growing because they exactly. can't. Yeah, they can't let go of that. But that's, but that's it. That's all they can give us. So this is saying that. Uh, as of December 31st of 2015, Wii U has sold 12.6 million units worldwide. 12 million? That's more than I have. So PlayStation, but let's think about PlayStation 4 has done, what, 30? 30 something. <laughs> In two In years. Two it's cool. Years. It's cool. I, would, I, I still think that it's like. Oh, I know. It I know. Is, it's we've intense. had that conversation, though, before, Rachel. I've, uh, several times where we've talked about, like, is. They're you know, only this, if you have friends. Right. Is, mm -hmm. is yeah, yeah. there. Party yeah. console. Yes. Is there yes. unwillingness to branch out beyond Mario, Zelda, and. I mean, what else even is they there? They know that they can. Smash keep, Brothers they and can keep playing off of Mario Kart. Nostalgia. That's true. They really can. They really can. You could, anybody would. They think that. they can. Can they, though? The I mean, do those well, numbers the movie business, have that idea? The movie business is doing the same thing, though. Yeah, like, that's, that's true. You know? That's right. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if they're going to get to a point where it will be like apparent that their nostalgia demographic has moved. Oh, moved on like found yeah. something else well i mean that's because though not. that that demographic not. raises their children on that demographic that's true, that's true. And, well that's why they're relaunching and that's where we power are now rangers. So. they're relaunching the power rangers mm -hmm. and voltron no, do, do, no voltron do, do, i can do, handle do. i'm okay with that but power rangers are just and they bad the first time they around were, folks. i'm sorry I just sorry. I yeah. I don't know for me i i look at 12 million units sold and i i'm i think to me that says yeah that base has moved on i don't know i figure if, Third if place PlayStation in, in two years has 30 million cells and Wii U in, in three plus 2012 to 2016, but what about right? like what about what years. about what about the 3 ds's How is how are That's those? That's totally sales? different. Yeah, mm. right. Yeah, Maybe those 3 ds's are, are killing it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 3 ds's are killing are they, it. I'm having a really hard time buying a new one. I'm, I'm like wondering. tax returns. I, yeah, windshield or tax return or <laughs> 3 ds. Um, so then. Uh, this is that was an interesting that was a good discussion. But yeah. let's let's go on next news real quick. Final Fantasy 15 launches September 30th. Square Enix announced the date. Kind of revealed that during this big uncovered Final Fantasy event that was held in Los Angeles. Words from the About Final Fantasy crew. About freaking time. Yeah, I know. I was kind of like, <laughs> what do you think? Are you I'm, done? I'm exhausted. Is it gonna be any good? I don't know. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I think that ever since SquareSoft became Square Enix, they've just they've really fallen off of the story mm. from it. Mm. They've really been focused on making it like, oh, we're going to have the most realistic faces and like that it's the most not believable, not connectable story right. for Bad it. Line. And if you if you can't get me there, then you're not going to get me on the graphics. I'll look at it and it'll be like, ooh, ah, pretty, but I'll move right on. Story is what you How many how many games recently have proved that though? Like if you oh, look right. at uh, Last of Us and the and the no, 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 I'm saying games that looked great that Oh, oh, the, the opposite. That didn't, say that didn't fall through. Yeah, so um, what was the uh, the Order 1886, right? Yeah. Yep. That yeah. game looked incredible. Yep, and it, didn't hold it was like a, from a review and ratings perspective, it was a flop. Yeah, I never even bothered to pick it up because I was like, "This is getting such bad reviews; it's not worth." I'm not. I'm not willing to put my sixty bucks in. Like right. a story, a something that pulls me in and makes me feel involved yeah. is way more important to me right now than whether or not something looks gorgeous. Yeah. Um, Final I Fantasy has a lot to. They have a lot to convince me on this, and I say that as a Final Fantasy fan. Right. Like they're gonna have to really work on it because to me it looks like you know it's the dude bro trip. Yeah. Like let's all get in the hey. car and like fight some really weird monsters. Okay. It's that's not, that's it's all. Not enough for you. See, it's I, not enough. So I I fell out of the bandwagon um, back. What was it? Twelve with 12. lightning. Mm -hmm. No, uh, thirteen was lightning. Thirteen. So I might not have even played twelve. 13 with lightning, I spent like six hours and I was like, come on, I, I want to like this. Like, 
give me something here to like and it just con They're, like the characters are so one dimensional at this point it, it, oh, it was like, just like everything was brute. like not only was yeah. the story linear and the and literally like the roads i was walking were linear so were the freaking characters like, yeah they yeah. were they were one note one characters. note characters Boom. and it that is what has to change and if they can't do that if they can't be creating complex characters that make me give a crap about them mm -hmm. I'm not interested. I, I, yeah, this may, I wouldn't say make or break because they've already kind of had a sh schism of, of fans, but mm -hmm. is there any word on like what the gameplay is like? Is it going to be turn-based like the others? Is it it's similar? It's turn-based and action-based. And action-based. They've, they've tried to blend it, and I am skeptical. Yeah. I will continue to be skeptical. If but it that's... feels, if it works like Nino Kuni, I'd like it. Right, because that's Nino a fan. Nino Kuni was super... kind of a skill and time, like, yeah. or an action mm -hmm. and time-based, yeah. um, and great, I thought they did it really well. That was a great, like, uh, Fight. Yeah, this, the, the whole the system, system, was, system fantastic. was really mm -hmm. fantastic. I really did love that. Speaking of, I'm still excited for Nino Kuni 2. Yep. Mm -hmm. Still excited for that. Okay. <laughs> Wrapping up the news, I've got one more here that's Sony. Actually, wait, there was one more that is in my head, but I'll have to I'll find it later. <laughs> Sony 4K streaming service was announced um, just recently, today, right? They talked about this new 4K streaming service called Ultra, launched in the U.S. April 4th. And uh, they, they talked about it back in January, but it's coming. Like, we have a date. It's like around the corner. Um, it's going to be available as an app exclusively on this new um, line of their, their 4K TVs. And it's also an Android TV app. Only so far at this point accessed through Sony hardware. But unlike Netflix, Ultra requires customers to purchase individual titles at 30 bucks a pop. Those movies from a collection of about 40 or 50 titles are then streamed to your 4K TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, streaming 4K has got to be insane. That's a lot of data. Yeah. That's huge. That's a lot of cake. 30 bucks is a lot of huge. I can I can hardly pay three bucks for an Amazon movie that I really want to see. Yeah, thirty bucks for a show? I'm taking the kids to a movie. Like I don't know yeah. that 4K is that exciting to me. Even if I had a 4K TV, Not I worth wouldn't it. be so yeah. excited about content that I'd be like thirty bucks <laughs> for each time. Like, yeah, is, that's it, nuts. is it is it am I owning it like a Blu-ray or is it like I don't know. it streams every time I just own the so rights like, like iTunes or an Amazon? Like it's on my account and I get to watch still it. Still not worth it. Movies I can't do that much for a single. I'm a one-time watcher except for Inception. I watch that more than once but yeah i just that's not me you watched inception more than once i saw it twice or thrice in the theaters and then i bought it wow. and watched it like four or five times more it's one of it's my yeah. one of my favorites yeah. so mad it's because not, it's I'm got my dream world boom, 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 boom. i spent many years as a lucid dreamer so it, it speaks to my soul is that where night 20 comes from i cannot oh deny my god no it has nothing to do with that Dude, no, it has nothing to do with that. but i did i i loved i love dreaming so that's why I, wa I watch that show and i'm just like this is so it's the drugs that make you dream <laughs> yeah right if, I, if only um what was the news that we had in our chat like uh that i wanted to share there was one other thing that, that you'd shared that was pretty cool that i can't even uh vr share psvr it. working on pcs that was one that we did in this chat right so that was mentioned by mr have right yeah, the, the PSVR has been rumored to also work, work on a PC. So if you have that high-end rig, you can you can make that go. Did I share it? I don't remember, but it looked newsy and it was fun. But we have so many dad jokes in our chat feed. Oh my gosh, Thank you, mascot. The scroll. <laughs> yeah, it's no, pretty difficult to get anywhere. I don't think I'll be able to find it tonight. But anyway, if I think of it, I will let you know. I'm sure there is some really cool news that you should all know that I'm not going to be able to share with you at this point. I do have all these dad jokes. That's too bad. You know what, folks? We'll call it a day. That, my friends, is the news. Should we jump in? No, yeah, fine. Release us. New release us. New cool. So new releases for March 30th is for the PlayStation 4. We have Adam's Venture Origin Origins, Arcade Archives Life Force Chronicles of Teddy Harmony of Exodus. Gryphon Knight Epic, MLB The Show 16, Knights of Azure, Azure, <laughs> No Time to Explain, Organic Panic, Peace Fall, RBI Baseball 16, Resident Evil 6, and Unepic. Un is, is Organic Panic like a cooking game where like if you throw anything in that's not organic, you lose? I like Freak that out. I I a lot. You know, it's, it's fun to like guess mm. based on titles. I'm going to find it. Right. You're gonna find out what it is. I'm gonna find For the out. Vita, we have Night Solitaire, um, Malia, Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution Two. I'm like crashing super hard right now. Uh, <laughs> Tachyon Project. My my little reminders are like you have to be up soon. I'm like, oh. Up soon. Yeah. I'm like For what? Eight hours work. I thought you quit. 
Yeah, two weeks. Can't burn those bridges. <laughs> what if that, I need dude. to go back there? You don't. Don't. No. What if I do? No. I don't know what's going to happen. Never. Life happens. <laughs> what if I need coffee in my Spit life on. for That's free? That's, That's a budget, is. man. That's true. That is literally Organic a budget. Organic Panic is a physics-based action puzzle platformer with completely destructible levels and dynamic reactive liquids. Play as the Organics take on the meats and cheese cronies. So it's a side-scroller huh. with... Vegetables. About vegetables. Don't <laughs> get cross contamination. That's, that's probably funny. the plot of the game. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we make games? We can come up with this. I know. Yeah. All right, do we have a few more Vitas on there? Uh, no, I think that's it. Tacron Project and Trillion, God of, God of Destruction. Very cool. I didn't say it like that. Very yeah, cool. let's go to bed. Bedtime, everybody. This has been episode 93. 92. 92, 92. Wow, we're all off our game tonight. <laughs> Uh, 92 of the Little Big Cast. Thank you for joining us. As always, we would love to invite you to join us at Little Big or uh, what patreoncom Cast. If you feel like throwing a couple bucks our way, that would be sweet. Uh, we love and appreciate our p- current Patreons. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Uh, it means the world to us. Um, but whether or not you donate, we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue to make uh, it this like content, it. It was a chair. whatever it is, whatever. It was a, oh, it is a chair. It's I was gonna say this uh, <laughs> high quality content, but yeah. some of you may disagree with that statement. So yeah, it was fart we're gonna continue day, to make man. content. Yeah, we will. Um, thank you for joining us. My name is Jeff Hawks. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Hawks. And if you want to jam, look me up on the PlayStation Network. M R H O X is my name. With me as always, Rachel Hernandez. Yeah, you can follow me at Pirate Rachel with three instead of an E. Robin Hazlett. And you can find me on the PSNs at Lil three fifty two because you will not find me on Xbox. And our own <laughs> Drew Tyler. You can find me at night twenty K N I T E two zero. Yeah, I'm all over. I'm all over. Right. When it's I'm a not it's a drug lucid yeah. dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah night twenty. You'll never know what that means. Uh, find me there. Anyway, thank you for joining us, everybody, and we'll see you next week at the same time. Adios. Night night. Bye.